Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you a nice simple way to slim down one's face. And to do that, I'll be using the Lorac Contour Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Here it is, it's falling apart here. Absolutely wonderful. And this is an iconic palette that people on YouTube have been using for the last couple of years and absolutely loving. One of the things I like best about it, actually two things, is first it comes with this fabulous little instruction book that talks about the various face shapes and how to contour and highlight those. It talks about highlighting the under eyes, slimming in the cheekbones, chiseling down the nose, jawline and forehead. Absolutely a very simple one, two, three explanation of how to sculpt in your cheekbones, chisel your jawline, and make your face just look tighter and more toned and slimmer. It also comes with this wonderful little contour brush that's absolutely perfect to use with this palette. I can't wait to show you how easy this palette is to use, so let me take off this makeup and we'll get started. Okay, we're up close and personal, and again, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And first, we're going to bring the under eyes a little forward because when you slim your face, you want to emphasize the center part of your face and bring the outer part of your face back and give you some kind of nice contour there. Basically, we're going to highlight under the eyes and we're going to be mixing two shades of highlighter. The first is the beige and the second is the yellow. We're not going to be touching this shimmer highlight because that would give us a lot of glitter under the eyes, which we really don't want. This is an area where we have our fine lines and wrinkles. If we're a little past the age of, well, pretty much 30, I remember starting to worry about wrinkles when I was 30. Crazy looking back because I don't think I really had wrinkles at 30. We're going to just do a little triangle there. Then we're just going to blend that in. Now we've just given ourselves a little brightness under the eyes. Next, we're going to sculpt in those cheekbones and there's a light, a medium, and a deep contour. And your contour should really be two to three shades darker than your skin. So let's see, this one's a little light. Let's go in with the medium contour, tap off the brush. And basically when you place your contour, you're going to find your cheekbone and go just under that bone there, back basically from the ear, no further than the center of your eye. So we're just going to start here and give ourselves a little contour in just right under the cheekbone there, stopping halfway under the eye. And I'll do the same on the other side. Again, we're starting from the ear, finding that cheekbone, going just under that bone. I love this contour brush. It is absolutely the perfect brush to contour under those cheekbones. And again, we're stopping about halfway under the eye. So we've got some good contour going. Then we're going to take this brush, and I love the flat side of it, to kind of buff this up onto the cheekbone. Just use the flat side. You don't really want to come below the center part of the eye. And if you think it's too dark, you can go over it with a little powder. That helps to blend it in. So now we have that contour under the cheeks. Looks very nice. And as you can tell, my face is starting to look a little more sculpted. Next, we're going to take a little more of that same contour color, that medium contour color, and we're going to sculpt the chin just by going along that jawbone there. Actually, sculpt the jaw, I would say. And always tap off the brush. So you're just getting that like that. Very good. And again, take the flat side of the brush and go along that jawbone. Now you're going to take a little more of that same contour color up under the chin, especially if you have a little bit of a double chin, as we all do as we get to be a little more grown up. Hit the earrings there. And then just bring it part way down on the neck to give yourself a little shadow there. Now we're going to contour the sides of the nose, but to do that we're going to go in with this light contour shade here because I really don't want it to look like heavy contour along the nose. And we're just going to take it straight down, and this brush is great for that straight down on either side. Then we're going to cut off the end of the nose to shorten it up a little bit. Then we're just going to blend it out with our fingers. And then to blend out the sides of the nose, I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. Absolutely love this. This is in the shade medium, and I'm just going to run it along the sides of that nose, <laughs> my nose. That sets the powder and also just blends it out a little bit. Now we're going to go down the center of the nose with a little of the highlight color. And I'm again going to take my little highlighter brush, but I'm going to be dipping into this color with a little bit of shimmer. And it's actually called Shimmer Highlight. 
I'm going to press that brush together and just do the top part of the nose here. Not going down further than about midway on the nose. I learned that from Wayne Goss. So the nose is finished. Now I'm going to go ahead and sculpt the forehead a little bit. And I'm going to be using this light contour color. Tap off the brush. And we're going to be lifting the hair and getting clear up in the hairline. It's a telltale sign if you don't get close enough and you have a little white racing stripe by your hairline, which is not good. And we're just going to sculpt it down the sides of the face just to bring in that forehead just a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring it a little further down here. Since I have Frankenstein divots there, I want to kind of blend those out. And next we're going to go back into that shimmer highlight color and just put the smallest amount on the upper cheekbones. Don't bring it up too high or you're going to accent the fine lines and wrinkles under the eye. A Little bit of highlight there. Then we'll just add a little bit more of the highlight, tap off the brush, right in the middle of the forehead there, right above the eyes, maybe a little bit above the brows. Next, we're going to be going in with a little bit of blush, and I'm using this new CoverGirl palette, which I really enjoy. It's got contour and highlighter. Ooh, it's very powdery there. But I love this fuchsia color, and we're going to keep the blush on the upper part of the cheekbone, about halfway down on the eye. Don't go any lower than that. If you want to make yourself look older, put it on the apples, because when we're not smiling, which is unfortunately most of the time, that apple blush goes down and makes your face sag a little bit in the middle, which we don't want. We want to lift up those cheekbones, keep them nice and high. Love that color, absolutely beautiful. CoverGirl has some fabulous blushes. And again, just keep that blush on this side of the middle of the eye. And when you apply blush, go ahead and pat it on, don't rub it in, because that way it looks like the blood is just rushing to your cheeks. Gives you a nice natural color that way. Now I'm going to be finishing off the lips with a wonderful rose toned lipstick and I'm going to be going in with a lip pencil. It's the Huda Beauty lip pencil in the color Muse. Just to fatten up the lips a little. It's a wonderful pinky nude color. And I've gone just a little bit outside of my natural lip line. Okay, there's the lip pencil. And for my lipstick, I'm really excited about this lipstick. And I was so happy that they sent this to me and I did order the color. This is the Becca Lipstick Love Lipstick. It's a creamy, beautiful formula in the color Petal. And that is what it looks like right there. And I'll show you a little swatch just a wonderful little rosy nude color and I love the rosy colors and I love the nude so to me this is the perfect mix absolutely love that color called petal and they have about 20 25 different colors full range of colors and they wear all day I wore this yesterday and the day before just loved it and I think I'm going to cover it in a little bit of a gloss. And this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Gloss in Plum Jealousy. Plum Jealousy, strange name. How do they come up with these? And there is how that looks. And it's a very similar color. We'll just give it a little bit of shine, which I'm really liking glosses again. I'm kind of over the total matte thing. I really do like a little bit of gloss. And that's how that Becca lipstick looks covered by the plum gloss. Absolutely beautiful. Well, that was a look at an easy way to slim down your face with the Lorac Contour Pro Palette. Absolutely love this palette. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my weekly videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I'm going to be using the Language of Letting Go card deck from Melody Beatty. Let's see what God wants us to think about for today. Ooh, good one. Making the right decisions. Making the right decisions. Today I will search for my own truth and I will allow others to do the same. I will value the worth of my own vision and the vision of others. We are all on our own paths, making the decisions that are right for us today. 
Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it reminds me to slow down and really consider the decisions that I'm making. I have some kind of big ones in my life right now and I won't go into all the personal details of that, but I really need to not just totally use my gut. I really need to slow down and look at the pros and cons and also pray about it. I really just need to take the time to make a good evaluation. In my first half, it seemed like a lot of the time I would just, you know, not even realize it was a decision I was making and jump off in some course of action. But in my second half, I've realized that my decisions affect me and sometimes those around me. So friends, just for today, let's go through our day consciously. Let's realize that all through the day, we are making decisions, small ones or maybe larger ones, because when we make the decisions of our life carefully on a daily, weekly and monthly basis, slowly those decisions shape our second half. Take care. See you next time.